Hi teachers, I'm Melissa and today I'm going to tell you how to use a super simple song in your English class. Okay, this is a song from the Beatles. Uh, you may have heard it. It's called Hello Goodbye. And it's a very basic song. There are only 16 words in the entire song. Okay, and uh, it also has some useful language and can be used with students from all ages and all levels from the very first week that they start studying English. I think it's really important to help students incorporate music into their language learning so that they will be able to extend their learning outside of the classroom. Okay, so what I usually do with this song is I put uh, some opposite pairs on the board or on a worksheet if you want to do it that way. Uh, this song is made up of these pairs. It has hello, goodbye, I, you, yes, no, stop, go, hi, low, and this one's not exactly opposite, but why, and the answer, I don't know. Okay. In addition to these words, the song also has say and oh, and that's the complete lyrics of the song made up out of these words. Okay, so the first activity is to get the students to match the opposites. If they're a little higher, you might ask them, what's the opposite of yes, and have them give you the opposite. Or for an even higher level class, you could throw more pairs into the mix. And then later, when they're listening, they will tell you which ones they heard and which they didn't hear in the song. Okay? For a very simple class, with very simple materials, little prep, you can find this song on YouTube, uh, with or without the lyrics appearing on the screen. I usually uh, put two columns. This song has, says, uh, I say and you say. And then I ask the students to put which is on which side. Is it, do I say yes or do you say yes? Okay. Do I say stop or do you say go? Okay. They need to decide which side, whether it's something I say or you say in the song. Okay. Uh, after they do the activity and they listen, they could listen a few more times. Encourage them to sing because this will help them with their pronunciation and their memory. Uh, we know that repetition is really important in language learning and when you repeat in a song, it's not nearly as boring as repeating drills or conversations in class. And then for me, the key at the end of any song activity is to ask the students what language from this song could they take out of the song and apply in their other uses of English. So this song has a really useful phrase right here, I don't know. Okay, so, and the way the Beatles sing this song, it sounds a lot like how we say it when we're speaking. I don't know. Okay, so uh, ask them, have them practicing, answering that to questions. Uh, what's that guy's name? I don't know. What time is it? I don't know. Why do we have to study English? I don't know. Or that last one also has the phrase, I don't know why which also appears in the song. I don't know why we have to study English. I don't know why he didn't come to class today. Okay, so those are language items that they can take from the song and begin to apply in their real, in their real English use. This will help boost their language learning and I hope that you'll use this in your class. 